Hello, and welcome to my operator guide for Buck. This is one of a series of short videos that will help you get the most out of each operator in Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege. If you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe and click the notification bell so you can stay up to date on my videos and help the channel grow. And no, let's talk about Buck, eh? Buck is a two-armor, two-speed attacking operator from the Canadian GTF2. He is a soft breacher who can quickly open up sight lines from above and below the objective that can make defenders' lives a nightmare. Buck was introduced in Operation Black Ice, along with his fellow Canuck Frost and the Yacht Map, as well as the infamous Black Ice Weapon Skin, which remains one of the most coveted cosmetics in the game. Buck's unique gadget is the Skeleton Key Under Barrel Shotgun. This rather simplistic tool is used for the soft destruction of walls, floors, and barricades. While destruction is certainly the Skeleton Key's primary function, it also doubles as a secondary offensive weapon if needed. Swapping between Buck's primary weapon and his shotgun is done with a single press of the primary gadget button, making it faster than swapping to his sidearm. Therefore, if you find yourself in a tight spot, it may be worth using the shotgun as a last resort in close quarters if you get pushed by an aggressive defender. Bear in mind that the effective range of the skeleton key is very short, as the pellet spread is wide. On the screen now is how I personally run Buck. I will always use the C8 Assault Rifle, as this weapon is fully automatic and hits hard despite having rather obnoxious recoil. I equip the C8 with a flash hider and a 1.5x magnification sight. Since the skeleton key takes up the underbarrel slot on Buck's primary weapon, he cannot equip a grip on either of his guns. Buck's alternative primary weapon is the Kammer's Marksman Rifle. As a rule, I tend to steer clear of Marksman Rifles, and in Buck's case, having an automatic weapon at his disposal suits his role as a vertical breacher much better, since DMRs are much more suited to long-range engagements. However, if you do prefer DMRs, I would equip this weapon with a muzzle brake for controlled semi-auto firing, as well as a 3x magnification sight for precise shots at long range. You could also equip this weapon with a red dot, reflex, or holographic sight, depending on your preference. These one-time sights will allow you to be more precise at close range, if you choose to play more aggressively in combination with Buck's breaching capabilities. However, if you choose to be more aggressive, I would go with the C8 as it is much better suited to this playstyle. Buck's only sidearm option is the Mark I 9mm pistol. This is a decent handgun with a reasonably high capacity magazine, but nothing to write home about. Make sure to equip it with a muzzle brake for improved recoil control. For secondary gadgets, Buck can take either a claymore or stun grenades. Sadly, Buck no longer has access to frag grenades, as this always made him too similar to Sledge, who is also a soft breacher with frag grenades. These days, I usually take a claymore, as this suits my playstyle better and allows me to cover my back while I'm breaching the floor from above while on my own. However, if you want to play Buck more aggressively, stun grenades are a great option when pushing a heavily defended area. Buck's specialty is vertical gameplay, from both above and below. His skeleton key shotgun allows him to destroy breakable surfaces from range, something that Sledge cannot do. Buck is also a lot faster than Sledge when it comes to opening up destructible floors, meaning that he can be played more aggressively. Given the speed of Buck's breaching, it is often possible to catch a defender by surprise in this way. With this in mind, you can make one or two quick breaches in the floor, and then quickly swap back to your primary weapon before shooting down onto any unsuspecting enemies. If there are no defenders in sight, it is best to reposition and continue making quick breaches in different parts of the floor to keep the defenders guessing. At worst, this will divide their attention and make them nervous, and at best, it will give you a strong angle of attack to secure some easy kills. The same is true when breaching a floor from below, but bear in mind that defenders will have the high ground in this situation. Buck is especially useful if you are pushing an objective that is protected by entry denial gadgets such as bandits batteries or mute signal disruptors. If Buck is able to destroy the floor below these gadgets, he can take them out easily without having to rely on Thatcher, especially if Thatcher has been banned in the match you're playing. He can also get sightlines on mirror windows and other gadgets that defenders can do nothing about. This is fairly situational, but worth thinking about all the same. When it comes to breaching soft walls with Buck, things can get a little inconsistent. While his shotgun is a powerful breaching tool, it can cause issues with the game's disruption system. In theory, when standing a couple of meters away from a wall, a single blast from the skeleton key should be sufficient to create a roan breach that Buck can crouch or vault through. However, due to the slightly random nature of the pellet spread, this isn't always the case, so several shots may be required to ensure that all destructible debris is cleared away from the breach. Additionally, if you're too close to a wall, the hole will be too small to move through, and if you're too far away, the pellets will be too spread out to fully destroy the wall in one shot. If you want to start using Buck, I would recommend practicing in a custom game, so you can get used to how his shotgun interacts with soft surfaces like wood and plaster. 
Buck is rather a lone wolf when it comes to his playstyle, but his teammates can also benefit from the breaches and sightlines he creates. If taking advantage of vertical gameplay, it is worth being accompanied by a nomad, as her air jabs can prevent roamers from sneaking up on you while your attention is on breaking apart the floor above or below the objective. Because Buck's gadget is effectively just a shotgun, there is nothing that counters him specifically. The only defender that could be considered a counter is Castle, since unlike Ash, Zofia, and Sledge, Buck is the only soft breaching specialist that is unable to destroy a castle barricade with his gadget or equipment. Buck is a simple but effective attacker that can be a real headache for defensive anchors. He's great fun to play and takes full advantage of one of Rainbow Six Siege's best game mechanics, the destructible environment. That concludes my operator guide, and I hope you've picked up some tips on how to use Buck effectively. If you would like to see more videos like this one, consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. Your support is always appreciated. Thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day.